What's up everybody, welcome back to Camera Exchange. Now, we just got sent an awesome new lens. We have the Zeiss 40 millimeter 2.0 CF. And this thing has been just amazing this morning and I've only been in one spot, so I'm really eager to get around downtown San Antonio and see what else I can find to shoot. So let's get going and I'll tell you a little more about this lens as we go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a quick little break and I'm gonna actually go through this lens a little more in detail with you. Gotta say, I'm really liking it so far. The weight feels perfect. If I take the hood off, it's actually really small so I can get right on an object with the close focus that this has in it. Now, what I really wanna talk about though is these T-Star coatings and how sharp this thing really is. I've been just zooming in on some of my portraits just to see how much sharpness I can pull from it. And on the back screen, it looks flawless. It is just amazing. And the contrast I'm getting out of this thing is beautiful. So I, once again, I have to thank that T-Star coating and the way the elements are arranged. So they're mainly all single elements. So you have nine elements and eight groups, meaning that at least one of them is a double stack of elements, but all the rest are single elements, giving you a lot of sharpness to work with and overall just beautiful. Now the autofocus on this thing blew me away. I shot it in continuous autofocus and it hit the mark every time. And that's coming off of an A7 III, which is known to be crazy fast. So pairing these two together has worked out flawlessly. It worked great in single point autofocus as well. Now, if you can see, I do have a mural behind me that is actually made of a bunch of small little stones. And we're gonna go shoot that and see how much we can really pull out of that and see how sharp we can really get this lens to perform. So let's go try it. All right, so now that we have a close-up view of this OLED screen on the Zeiss lens, which might I add is a beautiful touch, I've used it quite a bit in manual focus, I wanna show you how it really works. So if I turn counterclockwise, you'll see I can drop all the way down to my minimum focus of 0.24 meters. Now, if I turn it the other way, which is clockwise, we'll go to infinity, and if I keep turning, it usually takes about five good turns, you'll see I have display options. Now, I can keep turning that clockwise, and we'll have display on, which is on all the time, even in autofocus. You can turn your display completely off if you're just looking through screen in manual focus, or you can adjust it to the straight manual focus. And that's where I've had it set today. And it's worked out great. When I click over to manual focus, I can set my distance so I know exactly where I'm gonna be. And to confirm that, you're gonna turn it the opposite way again, which is counterclockwise. And now that's confirmed. So. Now that I confirmed that, if I switch this over to autofocus, it'll come right out and now my screen's off. If I switch back to my manual focus, the screen turns back on and I have my adjustability right there. All right, so the next cool part on this lens and I really wanted to show this was the focus distance selector. So this lets you select a actual focal range that this lens will lock into and actually forget about other focal ranges as well to help speed up autofocus and the range that you select. So if you have full focus, you're using the whole focusing capability of this lens, which is infinity all the way down to 0.24 meters. Now I drop it down to infinity to 0.4 meters. It's gonna negate that 0.24 all the way up to that 0.4. So I don't even worry about that area and it helps really speed up my autofocus, especially with far away shots. And the same can be said when I drop down to 0.5 to 0.24 meters. That helps it speed up in close focusing areas where I'd rather not jump into infinity or anything like that because I'm not gonna use it. And so you'll see a lot less seeking and you'll be getting a lot more images and you'll get them a lot quicker. So that's really a rundown of this little selector switch. And it was a great idea from Zeiss, really liking it so far. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our shoot today. I gotta say, I love this thing. The Zeiss 40 millimeter F2 is just everything you would want in a prime lens. 
in that perfect range. So you can do street photography, portrait photography, food photography. It's close focus, so you can really get sharp detail. This thing covers everything. T-star coatings, you have contrast, you have sharpness, you have saturation. There's no more to really want from a lens. Plus, it's lightweight. It works perfect for a mirrorless platform. So all in all, I'm in love with this lens. I'm gonna go buy it. I urge you to go try it out like I got to today. It's been great. Now, remember, like and subscribe to our channel and also give us some love on Facebook and Instagram. Now, I'm gonna go shoot some more. I'll see you guys next time.